is uh, insanity and exempting circumstance under a revised penal code is feeble-mindedness or being a moron or in the vernacular tatanga-tanga and exempting circumstance under the revised penal code under article 12 of the revised penal code sabi niya circumstances which exempt persons from criminal liability isa sa mga nakalista doon is an insane person unless the latter has acted with discernment meaning stable ang kanyang pag-iisip ang kanyang pag-reason however dapat pag insane ka at yun ang depensa mo you should establish a complete absence of intelligence zero talaga talagang uh, uh, wala kang control of your acts of your reason at ito yung kaso ng People versus Tibon na dinisaydan ng Supreme Court. Ang sabi dito ni uh, former uh, Associate Justice Presby Velasco, dapat ang taong insane eh hindi nakakapag-isip at hindi lang dahil mali ang kanyang judgment. At uh, hindi lang dahil galit siya, hindi lang dahil emotional siya, Pero there is complete absence of intelligence. So, how do you prove insanity? You should have medical and scientific data uh, issued by competent medically licensed uh, doctors to prove that at the time of the offense is ikaw ay walang control absolutely sa iyong pag-iisip in order that you can be exempted from criminal liability. Meron pang isang kaso ang People versus Butlong at uh, dinistinguish niya ang insanity from mental retardation. Mental retardation, you are not insane but hindi rin uh, complete yung soundness ng intelligence mo. And mental reservation uh, 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 forgive the word eh, pwedeng maging isang idiot or a moron as the case may be and ang IQ niya eh, 0 to 19 and this will be considered as a mentally retarded person ang imbisil naman ang IQ nito eh, between 20 to 49 at uh, of course, ang average uh, intellect ng isang imbisil ay uh, ang ages uh, ng 7-year-old child. Eh, a moron or a feeble-minded, papalit-palit ng isip, ang IQ nito ay 50 to 69. And of course, uh, all others, uh, medyo normal na yung IQ. And uh, are these exempting circumstances under the revised penal code ang sinasabi niya ay it may be a plus factor and it will diminish the liability uh, it may be a mitigating circumstance but never an exempting circumstance